Hi, so I don't know what your favorite browser is, but mine is Google Chrome because it's super fast, especially for people who opens a lot of tabs like me or working on graphic programs. In this video, I will show you a few extensions for a Chrome browser to help you uh, as a designer speed up the process or make some things uh, a little bit easier. When you install extension, they appear next to the address uh, bar right here. These are extensions. And now I'll show you how to install extensions and where to find them. This version of Chrome that I'm using is the new beta version. You can download it from the main uh, uh, Chrome uh, page or you can uh, work on the regular one, not the beta. To go to the extensions page, click on this wrench icon and in the beta version you'll find it under tools then extensions but in the regular version you'll find it under the wrench icon in this menu. So here's my extensions page that I've installed in my Chrome browser. Just go to the end of the page and click on get more extensions. This is the extensions page. You can browse the extensions or uh, just search in the search uh, area. Let's, for example, write ruler and click on an extension. You can see the rating, the description, the comments, and then decide you want to install it or not. So click on install and click install again. Here it is installed in the extensions area. Measure it. Uh, most extensions doesn't work on extension page, and most of them um, you need to restart your browser to get them working. So I'll open Google, for example. Then this doesn't uh, need restarting Chrome. Click on it. Uh, this extension measure the height and the width of the dragged area very good extension the width and the height uh, if you want to okay, if you want if you want to uh, disable or uninstall an extension just go to extensions page and find your extension um, here's measure it you can disable it that it will no longer uh, be visible here or uninstall it uninstall that's it for installation and editing your extensions now let's move on to me showing you the extensions and how to install them or use them. For each extension that I'm going to show you, I'll put a link of it in the video description so you can find it easily and install them if you like it. The first one is this Take Screenshot extension. When you click on it, you can drag anywhere in the screen and then save or copy as an image very good extensions extension I really like it um, it's uh, better than you printing screen and then uh, going to editing program and then crop it and blah 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 no this you can just drag anywhere and save the area as an image even you can uh, save an image of a video for example when you click on the icon it will pose everything on the screen and then you can take any image you want. The second one is color pick. You can take or grab any color from the screen, copy the value and use it in your Photoshop or any program. Very easy. There are a lot of color pickers extensions but I found this um, very easy and uh, the fastest. This next extension is Awesome Screenshots. It's very, really awesome. 
has two options. The first one to capture visible part of page. When you click on it, this uh, the, the, the visible part is captured. When you click done, and you can save the image. The second one is to capture the whole page as an image. Like it has really long uh, content and a scroll. So you can click on capture entire page, and you can have all the page as one picture. Really great. Usually, when I wanted uh, to take entire page, I was taking print screen and go to Photoshop and just taking screen uh, shots or printing screen five or six times. This is really easier. And you can also edit, edit the picture, crop, write, or draw an arrow, for example. And then when you finish editing, you can click on Done and preparing your image large <laughs> then you can save it as an image very good for inspiration or uh, if you want just an image of a certain website and you can assign a shortcut uh, if you right click on the extension icon and choose options you can uh, first choose the image format and then to set a shortcut really fast if you want to take a picture uh, by pressing a shortcut key click save when you're working on a website design you need lorem ipsum special language to fill the paragraphs so this extension uh, when you click on it, it will open in a new tab and you can copy the paragraphs and then use it in your designs and you can edit number of paragraphs or number of words you can click generate again to generate another um, words or other paragraphs very easy in practice as designers we view and read a lot of blogs, tutorials articles and instead of bookmark them all you might uh, like to save the site or the page so why not saving it as a PDF file this extension uh, when you click convert to PDF converts the page to a PDF file and there's options you can also explore and you know see see what you can change now when you click down when you click download PDF file save it open it and you'll see it is a PDF file <laughs> very good the next one is stopwatch or countdown extension sometimes at work you have a task you need to finish it for example in two or three hours you can uh, start a stopwatch or you can uh, put a count down for two hours for example we'll start counting you can change the options to after it finishes counting display the message or play a sound very good and um, organizes your work.